Hello everybody, I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV here in Round Rock, Texas. Today, I'm going to show you the Northstar 850 SC. Before we get started, let me remind you that if you'd like to see more of our videos, just subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, we try to video all the latest and greatest in truck campers and lightweight trailers. All right, well this Northstar 850 SC has a base weight of about 1,780 pounds. It's lightweight, it's versatile, and it can fit actually any size truck bed over six foot, or it can also fit an eight foot long bed. Now this particular one is built for a short bed, the over six foot bed, uh, because it's got the wrap built in on the back. It has a north-south bed that everybody is looking for, uh, air conditioner, uh, cassette toilet on the inside, lots of great features. So let's go inside and see if this one might work for you. Come on, let's go. All right, the inside of this 850 SC feels very open. I love the light wood, the light countertops, of course the windows all the way around. Um, let's talk about the short door to begin with. Of course, most of you know I'm only about five feet tall. You've got a lot of height in here, uh, a, a little over six foot. But the door is short, so you do have to duck coming in. Why do they do that? Well, they do that because they want you to have the strongest, most stable pop-up that they can build. And that includes having a solid perimeter all the way around the top of the box of this camper. So this really helps to keep everything stable. It keeps this lift system working perfectly. And you do have to duck coming in, but with stairs, as you lean in, you really do get the hang of it, even if you're much taller than I am. And you'll learn to duck getting out and you'll really appreciate the headroom on the inside and the stability of the framing of this camper. Let's take a look at the kitchen. As you walk in on the left, you've got the pantry or a wardrobe box here. When you open this, it's got the airplane, what I call aircraft style, uh, buttons here where you push the button it pops open There is a hanging bar in it or you could put shelves in and use it as a pantry One of the advantages of having this lifted roof is that you have countertop here that gets created while the roof is up and then this nice flat surface here the Dometic uh, stove right here opens to the side it has two burners with the iron grill that sits on the top, so it's very easy to clean. Good solid iron base to put your pots and pans on when you're cooking. With the, uh, with the uh, knobs right there in front. So I love the style of this, but what I also like is that when you put this lid down, this really does act as a flat counter space. So not only do you have a countertop space if you're not using the stove, but the same goes for the sink next to it. The faucet is mounted in the middle. So if you move the faucet over, lift up the glass top that is on the sink, Tetford makes this wonderful product that actually fits right in this sink and it's called a kitchen center. It comes in this 850 SC. So it's a plastic tub that is always usable um, and very handy when you're actually camping. It can fit in the sink. You can wash dishes in it, all that kind of thing. Has a nice lid on it for storage. But if you take that lid off, there's a cutting board that fits on top of that as well. So you could use this in any other area, even outside if you wanted. The cutting board lifts off. And there is another piece that can be mounted on the lid to create a, a center. I'm going to put this tub right back in the sink and this actually hangs right on the top of the lid. So you have a place for soap, a place for your uh, sponges or anything that you're washing with. It can all sit right there on the lid while you're camping. Everything's available. Really very handy, very convenient, and very compact. 
When you're ready to put it away, everything just goes right back in the tub. Cutting surface can fit right on the top there. And the lid goes right back on. And the glass top closes. Again, a flat surface across the counter. Very cool. So on the left, you've got a 110 plug, and on the right, you've got the controls for the furnace. So this will turn your furnace on and off, which is located right down here underneath the stove. You've got a fair amount of storage right here in this kitchen. Drawers, two drawers right here in the top, second one right here. You know, I'm a big fan of drawers when you're camping. Underneath, let's take a look at this storage. These are not separated. It is one large area underneath the sink here. And then underneath that, you have got not a very deep storage, but it's got two shelves on it. Great for cans or any small items that you want to stack down here. Now you've probably noticed you have another 110 plug right here, so there's two in the kitchen area. And underneath the furnace, you have one more uh, shallow storage space. You know, in a truck camper, every bit of storage is important. Let's take a look over here on top of the refrigerator. There is not only counter space, but the mirror inside the flip up, and this is about two inches deep. So you've got room for keys, flashlights, any of the, the smaller things that would fit in that space. The refrigerator, it's a 3.7 cubic foot Dometic. It has a freezer in it. If you want to make ice, carry your ice cream. But the, if you don't need the freezer, it's actually removable in this version. It is a three-way refrigerator, so you've got gas, electric, and the battery power on it. Now behind the refrigerator, between the refrigerator and the bed, there is another space here where you could actually uh, use as a countertop or put some baskets or bins there. The charging center is right below it, so this might be a handy place for your phone and those things that require charging. The charging station has a 12-volt outlet on it and two USBs. Now below that, what looks like a cabinet is actually access to the back of the water heater and the plumbing system. Always great to have easy access for anything that needs to be tightened up or checked. The converter is underneath with, of course, your breakers and fuses. Now to the right of that, you'll see the battery disconnect with the orange handle. Uh, it's always great to have that built into a camper because you can disconnect the battery when you're not using the camper uh, and really helps to save your battery. So the battery disconnect is right below that. It also includes the DSI water heater switch, the water pump, and the switch for the lift system. And we'll show you that lift system before we go outside. It's so easy to just push the button and have this camper go up and down the top of it. Works great. Uh, this is the step going up into the bed. Now if you lift this panel, you'll have access to the compartment underneath, which includes your battery compartment, or you also have access from the front for storage. So it's a lot of nice usable space there. Your LP carbon monoxide detector is right next to that. And that allows us to make our way around to the dinette area. Now let's see if I can get some of this out of the way. And as we're heading that direction, you can see that these two cubbies get you even more storage right here underneath this bed. You have such a nice north-south bed area it actually overhangs the front wall just a bit and gives you this storage space right in here. All right, let's close those up. Now this dinette is very comfortable. It has a lagoon table. If you're not familiar with the lagoon table, they actually swivel in every direction. You can see 
It's got several pivot points on it, so you can actually put this table on one side and swivel it over so it can be another workstation while you're cooking, or you can swivel it completely around so it is out of your way and against the wall, or take it out completely. You can raise it, lower it a little bit, tighten it in any position. These lagoon tables are just so handy. So that is a great feature that Northstar has in this camper. So behind the dinette is a dual pane acrylic window. These latches easily open right here and allow this window to go all the way out, get you lots of fresh air. This piece comes down to be a screen and you have another piece that clips up for privacy. You've got the same thing in this upper canvas area. The tinted plastic has a zipper on it so it can zip up completely or you can bring this up for privacy. Now unlike other pop-ups, this isn't velcroed, it's zippered. Both the window and the privacy are zippered in so they stay in place. They don't get all uh, sideways on you. Get, they always fit perfectly when you zipper them. This is a uh, coated vinyl here, very durable. Um, the straps stay in place, so when it's unzipped, we had it kind of halfway folded on this camper so you could see that it had that. What I like to do is take these both and roll them down. If you roll them all the way down, I'm just doing one side of it, of course, but then it just sits here and stays in place. It doesn't flop down and get in your way. There's nothing to tie, nothing to Velcro, nothing to try to keep in place. It is always right here out of the way. I just, I, the canvas on this is, is just got such great durability to it. Uh, I love the way it works in this because you can place these windows uh, and canvases all the way around in any position and they stay in place and they stay out of the way. All right, let's take a look at the dinette bed. So when this dinette is made into a bed, it's 36 inches wide, 73 inches long. Now 73 inches is six foot one and the interior of this height in the camper is six foot eight. So obviously this could sleep adults both in the dinette area and in the queen size bed, which is a full 60 by 80. Uh, the table can move around so that you can leave it in, take it out completely, and just such a versatile area. Let's take a look underneath the dinette. There is actually access to the outside. We get questions a lot about if there's storage underneath this dinette. Well, no, there's not because this is actually outside the camper. Uh, the wall right underneath here will run right on the inside of where your wheel well is. And this compartment right here opens up for access into the truck bed. You can use it for a little more storage. A lot of people keep their wet boots, anything muddy. Uh, again, just an access to the outside right there. All right, let's take a look at the toilet area in the very back of the camper. Okay, in this Northstar 850SC, the SC stands for self-contained. So that means it has a toilet and a shower. This is a combination toilet shower called a wet bath. As you open up the, the compartment and you step in, you'll notice that there is a platform here that is uh, a built-in platform, fits right in the slot, easily cleanable, but it is great for stepping in and makes it a little easier to use the cassette toilet. That can certainly come out and then you're stepping down into the tub of the shower so that when you're taking a shower, the water is going to go down into that tub and drain out. Up at the top, there is the framing for the shower curtain that you mount up here. Just pull it around whenever you needed to use this area and it gives you the privacy and keeps the water in the enclosure. The shower handle is right on the wall mounted on the side with the hot and cold handles right beneath it 
So it's very easy to use. There is just nothing complicated about this. Cassette toilets sometimes are a little complicated for people or they, they worry them. Oh, I don't want to deal with that. I am a huge fan of cassette toilets. If you've seen other videos, you'll know that because they are so simple. They just simplify camping. Now, the difference between a cassette toilet and a standard toilet that you might find in a travel trailer is that there is a suitcase type cassette that you pull out the side and you take to a dump station and you dump it. It is almost identical to using a standard dump station. You, you simply uh, point the waste into wherever the, the dump is. And for a cassette toilet, that could be any toilet anywhere making it so easy to use. You don't have to find a dump station and you don't have to camp where there's full hookups. It makes it very simple to have all the conveniences if you're boondocking. So again, very simple to use. This cassette toilet holds four gallons of fresh water and then the, the black water tank is five gallons. So quite substantial, very easy to use. Uh, don't be afraid of it, it just makes camping so simple. We'll take a look at how that cassette works when we get to the outside. So underneath the wet bath area is a little bit of storage right here and it, it also gives you access to some of the plumbing. So again, access is always important but there is some storage involved there as well. All right, let's take a look at the north-south bed. All right, so the 850SE from Northstar has the north-south bed and it is a true queen mattress so it's 60 by 80 just like the one you have at home. All right there is storage underneath this and storage on both sides. Let's lift this up take a look underneath you know when people want to know the quality of a North Star I like to show them underneath this bed and the reason is is because this is not a part that shows it actually has got very high quality lumber in it. Everything is sanded and finished and you can really see the workmanship in how North Star builds their campers. This is about six inches deep. It will carry a lot of your gear under here. Uh, a lot of folks I see have laid out their clothes in here. Uh, one person gets one side, the other one gets the other and and then gear in between. I don't know, there's always a different way to pack but uh, you wouldn't hesitate to put anything in here because it's not going to snag, get caught on the wood. This is just such a nice finish out. The props hold it up. It's very easy to put it up and down. Just give it a tug, lays right down again. And there is bins on both sides. So let's go up there and take a look at that as well. So around the front of this cab over, you can see we have these windows only halfway rolled down but you certainly can roll them down all the way so that you get full airflow all the way around this camper. It is just beautiful to be outdoors and feel that breeze coming through. On the roof, the LED lights, there's two over the bed and then there's another three back in the cabin so at night this is just very lit up. Each light has a switch on it so that you can actually only use the ones that you need if you didn't need it fully lit up like we did for the video. Um, underneath the bed, I did want to point out that this window is removable. So if you needed access into the bed, that uh, into the cab of the truck, that you can take this window out and uh, attempt that connection. You know, every truck fits differently, so uh, you're going to have to take a look at that if that's your, uh, what you're hoping to accomplish. Uh, on the roof, you'll notice above the bathroom there's also a skylight so that you can have more headroom there and a fantastic fan. The fantastic fan is going to be able to give you a little bit of a breeze in here if you roll these windows down. You just need some breeze. That's awesome. But if it's really hot, you need to cool it off, you've got that roof AC that's going to do a great job in here. All right, I think we've covered almost everything on the inside. If you have a question, comment below. We'll try to answer it. Let's go outside and take a look at what's out there. All right, so coming out of this 850 SC, I wanted to let you know that uh, this camper does not have the optional scissor steps on it, 
although those can easily be added. Uh, some people have some other ideas, so we always wait to be sure that the scissor steps is what they want coming in and out of the camper. Um, I love the Lend-A-Hand because it actually makes it stable coming in and out regardless of what steps you have. It lifts up and folds over and gets out of your way for travel. The rear porch light, again, LED lights. Underneath, this is the actual gray tank. So the gray tank is going to be the sink water and the shower water. It's 13 gallons and can be dumped with a regular sewer hose or to a portable tote tank. LED rear tail lights. Now this is the cassette toilet that we talked about inside. Very simple to pull this out and you see it slides right out, has wheels on the end. Set that on the ground. This handle pulls out and you can then tow this to the dump station or to a toilet and just dump it in just like you would a mop water bucket. This slips right back into place. I have to get that handle in. When you go to dump it, there's a button you push on the back. You swivel this out, pretty easy to do, and then you just dump it into the toilet or into the dump station. Put the cap back on, of course, swivel it back into place. The thing that I like the most about this is that it just opens itself back up and repositions when you slide it in. When you pull that cassette toilet out, it's completely closed, everything is capped off. You just roll it, dump it, slide it right back in. The fresh water that you use to actually flush the toilet is filled right here. So it holds four gallons here, the cassette holds five. Again, super simple to use. Uh, it makes just a great addition to the campers that want to not hassle with the dump stations all the time or want a boondock. So keep that in mind. It really is a great feature of these campers. Electric jacks, of course, very simple to use. There's a handheld remote, just raises and lowers this camper to get it on your truck. Coming around, do you remember I said this could fit a short bed or a long bed truck? Well, there's two ways to get this 850SC built. This one has the permanent wrap on the back for a short bed truck. Any truck over six foot bed can actually carry this and it balances beautifully. Uh, if you had an eight foot bed, you could have this camper built without this wrap on it because the bed would come to the very end of the camper. Again, carries great. Uh, the center of gravity is actually designed on this camper at 32 inches. It's an approximate number based on options, but you measure from the front towards the back about 32 inches, and then you want your wheel of your camper to be directly under that so the camper balances. That's the reason that any bed over six foot is going to work with this camper. Because you have the short bed version here, you get an extra little storage compartment. Again, if you had the eight foot bed, the truck bed's going to come to the back so you would lose this storage piece. The fiberglass outside gives it lots of great strength. This is a solid build with block foam and wood framing. LED porch light on this side and the other side. Very nice to have. Here's that acrylic window behind the dinette. All of these white clamps will hold the top down. We'll show you how to open the top at the end of the video. Coming around the front, this will be the window that will allow you uh, access into the cab if that's what you'd like. The venting for the battery. On the driver's side of the camper is the city water fill underneath. And then right on top, this is the connection to your 30 gallon fresh water tank. The water heater is mounted right above that. Now you don't have any switches out here. All of that DSI switch to turn it on is inside. We showed you that next to the refrigerator. The 30 amp plug connecting you to shore power. This is the venting for that refrigerator and an outside spray port with hot and cold. This disconnects right here very easily. It's a quick disconnect. 
and then this can be stored in one of your compartments. A porch light on both sides. I love porch lights all the way around. It makes a difference when you're camping. The furnace outlet and 110 plugs in case you wanted to plug in any party lights, any extras on this side. Because you've got the short bed build again, you've got another storage compartment on this side. All right, we're back around to the rear of the camper. Single propane. On this side, it is a five gallon, 20 pound propane bottle. So as you can see, right here, it shows that this North Star has the Sub-Zero package on it. What that is, is the Trilam vinyl canvas on the top on both sides, which by the way is just such great material. I think I mentioned it to you before. When it gets dirty or anything gets on it, it just wipes off. So it's not gonna mold, it's not gonna mildew, it's gonna stay strong and clean for a long time. But in between both sides of that trilam is insulation with an R9 value. So this canvas is gonna keep you toasty even in a cold winter. The other thing that comes with this is they do a foil Celotex insulation inside the walls. It's all hand fitted in the Sub-Zero package and along with that you get the dual paned window that I mentioned earlier. That's part of their Sub-Zero package for camping in the winter in the North Stars. All right, now let, let me show you a little bit more about how this system goes up and down. It has a great electric lift system on it. First thing, just walk around the truck camper and undo the latches on each side. Notice I love the aluminum extrusion. It doesn't have a bunch of screws in the side. There is no trim up there attaching the top of it to the sides of it. And they have nice steel corner caps. So it's a very sealed roof. That's great for longevity of your camper. So after you've undone those latches, just open the door and sneak inside and yes almost anyone's gonna have to bend over just a little bit sit down on the front step and push the latch to raise the roof it should go up very steadily and you will know when it's reached the top it's going to actually slow down release the button and your top is completely set up now there are some tricks to putting it down very simple if you zip up all the windows then you're able to put on your fantastic fan, close the entry door, and while you're sitting inside on the step, slowly lower the roof. You may have to stop it once or twice, but it's gonna create a vacuum in there, so it actually pulls that canvas to the inside so it doesn't get pinched. That's a little tip to make it a little easier lowering that roof. Then just step out of the camper, close the door, and you are ready to travel. Okay, so I hope you've learned a few things about this North Star 850 SC. We think it's a great pop-up camper. We love having it here on our lot. I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV. We're in Round Rock, Texas. We have lots of truck campers for you to look at. So if you have any questions, please let us know. We're happy to help you. And remember, subscribe to our channel and you'll get to see all the walkthroughs that we do. Thanks so much and we'll see you next time.